Here we go one more time, rants and raves, where the only thing PC is the equipment that we use to produce it. I gotta start off on a bad note, because I gotta talk about one of my favorite people in a very bad way. That's right, me. I got that honor this week. What did I do? Well, against the advice of people that were very close to me and who I respect their opinion a lot, what did I do? I let an alley cat back into my world one more time. That's right. It was one of those cases of, I should have learned the first time what I got messed with, but no. Gave another opportunity. What happened? That's right, shame on me. Well, <laughs> here we went, third time. What happened? Can't tell you about that, because that might open me up to the lawsuit, but you can just say, idiot. That's right, this week it's me, I was the idiot. But, gone, not here anymore, we gonna move on, and with it, I'm gonna talk about something else that happened in 1985. Yes, that's right, a young lady was born who turned out to be one of the greatest young ladies I have ever had the opportunity to know. That's right, we're talking about Natalie Frazier. Natalie met her when, I, when she was seven, at that point, she was hitting balls over the fence, but she turned it around, ended up top 10 every age group in the country. First African-American young lady to sign a full scholarship for tennis at the University of Georgia. How'd she pay him back? That's right, number five, her senior year in the NCAAs. Top drag senior. Well, Nat wrote me a testimonial about what it was like to have me as her coach when she was a kid. Talks about a time when she was nine years old and something that happened on the court that she still uses to this very day to impact her life in a positive way. Thanks for remembering it, Nat. Thanks for reminding me why I do this. You are the best. Moved on from tennis, but I wish you the best in everything you do. Know I always got your back. Let me know if I can help. On to the next two places. We were a place without a home for a long time. People didn't want to be in our program because you don't have a home. We do now! Yeah, University of Texas at Dallas. Coach Brian Witt has given us a place to hold our junior programs. We love the facility. It's a secure place. It's a place that houses a college team. And it's also one of the best academic schools in the country. Coach Witt, anything we can do to help the Comets take out their rivals, the University of Texas at Tyler, we're going to help you do. Just let me know. Don't want to violate any rules that you might have to deal with, particularly the NCAA. Whoop, don't want to mess with them. But we'll help in any way we can. If you're a tennis player looking for a great academic opportunity, please check out Coach Witt. He has a great place to be. The other place we hold programs is the PGA Tour Superstore. That's right, we hold tennis in a store. They took the big box concept that you see, the Home Depot, and they filled it with golf clubs and tennis clubs and gave you a place to try out your clubs and try out your rackets. And they have an indoor court that we get to do ladies clinics on. We get to use it on days when it rains. It's a phenomenal place. Never seen anything like it. First time I was in one, it was because they were holding registration for a tennis tournament. I said, why are they holding registration for a tournament, tennis tournament in a golf store? Well, I walked in. I saw what it was all about. I said, why didn't I think of that? Hmm. Great place. Check out their website. Check out the stores they have open. Check out the new stores they have opening. The store here in Frisco has their own Facebook page. Check them out. Well, that's going to do it for this week. I'm going to go beat myself up some more and have some more people say, told you so. Yeah, I got to listen to that. Got to find me some cotton, put it in my ears. Well, for now, I'm just going to say, peace out.